today we are going to see how to write few sets with the both methods by using both methods so write the following sets by listing method and rule method this is our question and we are going to see how to write all these given sets by using both methods now here either we can use the word the listing method or roster method it is one and the same and here rule method or set better for this both denotes same method so let's see what is the first set given to us the first set is a set of even natural numbers up to 15 let's understand and write this first by listing method so what is a set it's a set no name is given so we can give any name which we want we can give say a is equal to sai then opening curly bracket then we want its even natural numbers understand each and every number word properly natural number start with 1 2 3 4 all that but we want even so we don't want all natural numbers we want even even numbers are which are divisible by 2 so we can start with 2 instead of 1 so it's 2 4 And till what we have the upper limit up to fifteen. Now up to fifteen is fifteen is an odd number. So previous to fifteen, fourteen is the even number. So we have to write these numbers, even numbers two, four, which are divisible by two, six, eight, ten, twelve, and fourteen. If this is not accommodating here, you can go down and write the number. element and that's the last element so you have to use the closed curly bracket write the symbols of curly brackets properly and nicely okay so we have written this set using listing method now let's see how to write with the rule method in rule method we will write the same name of the letter a is equal to sign opening curly bracket now each this element we will call it as by any variable letter we can use a or x or whatever suppose we have used x then vertical line so each element is x and what is x that we will write now after this i'll show it in two ways i i will use first all in words and then uh, second time i will show in using symbol so x is an even natural number it's an even natural number up to 15 so whatever given statement it's a condition and we have written as it is so here we have written as it is in words but my dear students mathematics is a language of signs and symbol instead of writing such a big statement we can write in short and in a smart way how we should know that method also because sometimes in the question it is asked in symbolic language so you need to know that language too so again same i am writing by rule method but only instead of using words how can we write using symbols so a is equal to opening bracket x vertical lines x is that so what is x x is a first of all natural number so x belongs to or it is an element of n n means set of natural numbers so here we are writing n is natural numbers then we are writing x is an even number even number and one more thing it is up to 50 so x is less than 15 and closing bracket so this we have written in the symbolic form we have used your element of symbol n means natural numbers and it is less than 15 so in this way you can write this both way you will find this is easier okay this is easier correct but you should know this method also because if it is given in the question you should be able to understand now let's go for the another example a set of odd natural numbers so here the name is not given we can mention say set b is equal to its opening bracket curly bracket odd natural numbers odd number starts with 1 which is not divisible by 
वन थ्री फाइव हाउ मेनी वी वॉन्ट वी आर नॉट गिवन एनी अपर लिमिट सो ऑल ऑर नेचुरल नंबर वी वॉन्ट एंड आर वी गोइंग टू राइट टेल इन्फिनिटी नो वी विल राइट टू थ्री मोर एंड एन से सेवन नाइन पुट कॉमा एंड आफ्टर दैट गिव थ्री डॉट्स एंड क्लोज द ब्रैकेट करली ब्रैकेट it shows that these numbers four five numbers shows that yes it is odd numbers and three dot shows that there is no upper limit it is infinite going on this is by listing method and by rule method we give the same name b is equal to x this vertical line that x is an odd number natural number natural number this is first way or using symbol we can write x x belongs to n so instead of writing that natural numbers we can write in short x is an element or member of natural number and x is an odd number in this way we can write okay now let's go for the third a set of squares of first 10 natural numbers Which are the first ten natural numbers? First ten natural numbers are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We want squares of that. So let's take name of the set C. We can use any capital letter. First ten natural number: one square is one, two square is four, three square is nine, then four square is sixteen, uh, five square twenty-five, six square thirty-six. Now here either you can complete. we write all the numbers up to 100 or now once we have understood the relationship between these numbers you can just put dot 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 comma and you can write the last one 100 and you can give the closing bracket means this is also correct if you now you understood that it's all a square i do write 7 square 8 square 9 square and then 10 square or you can just put three dots and that is okay okay uh Same thing if we want to write uh, in the rule method, c is equal to. Now x is what? What is x? So x you can use for any uh, set. X is that is squares of ten first ten natural numbers. So we can write x is a square of natural number. And x is less than or equal to hundred. So instead of writing first ten natural numbers, we can have written like this. This year we have written using all in words, but in symbol you can say x is such that x is it's a square. How to write a square of a natural number? Let's take n is a natural number. So it is the square of n. So n square. Now what is n? Now n we will Tell that n is a belongs to n means capital n. Small n is natural number belongs to n means capital natural number set. And what is n? N is we are taking squares of only first ten natural numbers. So our n is either less than or equal to ten, or we can write simply n is less than eleven also. So whatever we have written in words, we have written in in symbols. Okay. So we are writing in short. and we are telling more now let's see the fourth a set of first five multiples of 7 first five multiple of 7 what is the first multiple of 7 7 ones are 7 what is the second multiple 7 multiplied by 2 7 twos are 14 like that we want 7 fives are first five multiple 7 fives are 35 in short we want table of 7 up to 35 so if we take say say d In listing method, first is seven one the seven seven two the fourteen seven three the twenty one seven four the twenty eight and seven five the thirty five. We have written all that elements in the listing form. Now let's write with the same in the rule method. Now x is a set of all x such that that x is a multiple of seven. And then x is less than or equal to thirty-five. The same thing using symbol we can say x is such that x is equal to. It's multiple of seven. 
here as we have used the variable n we here also we can use variable n but now we are not going to make it square we are going to multiply it by 7 so we can have here 7 as a coefficient so x is 7 times of n and n, what is n n is a natural number okay so starting with 1 and now n is less than or equal to so we want 7 1s are 7 2s are 7 3s are 7 4s are and 7 5s are so value of n we want up to 5 so n is less than or equal to 5 please understand meaning of both uh, writing properly okay and then fifth a set of square root of 64 now 64 is a perfect square it is square of plus 8 as well as minus 8. So in this set we will have only two elements. A set E. It is so either it can be minus 8 or plus 8. Here we can write a plus and minus also. But generally we write the numbers in the ascending order. So minus 8 plus. Now here using this rule method E is equal to X. What is X? X is a square of a square root of you can right? square either if you are to write uh, square root of 64 or you can write the same thing as e is equal to x it says that x is equal to uh, x square sorry x square is 64 okay x is so that that x square is 64 means x is automatically going to be plus or minus 8 okay and now let's go for the last example a set of integers between minus 3 and 3 we know that integers if we start now here from minus 3 now set you can say f set between these two numbers means we don't want these numbers. So skipping these two numbers we will take the numbers in between. So we have to start with minus 2, minus 1, 0, 1 and 2. And here using rule method f set x is such that. Now x I will show with the uh, symbolic method. x belongs to instead of now n we will write i. i means set of integers. And x is between, so minus 3 and 3. x is in between this. So writing in this symbolic way, in short, we can write this set into the rule method or set builder form. I hope you have understood. Try to write such examples more and more. Thank you.